Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, uh, we will solve another integrands involving quadratic expression. So number two, so I hope uh, you already watched the number one. So we have integral of square root of 5 minus 4x minus x squared dx. Okay, so let's answer this. Okay, so as you can see in the example, we have square root of 5 mi uh, minus 4x minus x squared dx. So the possible uh, solution for this is uh, we can solve this by trigonometric substitution because uh, the integral integrand is 5 minus 4x minus x squared. So we can uh, transform that into uh, a squared minus u squared. And then after transforming that into a squared minus u squared, we can use the substitution substitution u equals uh, a sine theta. Okay, so let's do that. So we have this is equal to, so by completing the square, so we have uh, integral of a square root of, uh, let's regroup this. So we have 5 minus, in, minus uh, let's move the negative sign outside. So negative, negative x squared will become x squared and then negative 4x will become positive 4x. And then we complete we complete uh, the square by adding and subtracting the last term. Okay, so dx or, and so dx. So don't forget this, ayan. And then by completing the square, the formula for completing the square is one half, one half of b squared. So this is the, uh, b is the coefficient of x. So, so just uh multiply the 4 by 1 half so that is equal to 1 half of 4 or 4 divided by 2 is square so we have 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then 2 is square so that is equal to 4 so therefore we need to add and subtract 4 to make this a perfect square trinomial okay so therefore we have integral of square root of so we have 5 minus so we have x squared plus 4x and then we need to add to add 4 and then subtract 4 but we have negative sign here so that means this is negative this is a negative times a positive 4 that is negative 4 so we need to add to add a positive 4 so that's why it's it's just a negative 4 plus 4 that is equal to 0 okay so and then we have dx and then uh let's combine this 5 and plus 4 so that will become uh we have a square root of 5 plus 4 we have 9 minus so this is now a perfect square trinomial so this is equal to uh, x plus 2 is square then we have dx outside the square root okay so uh, 9 can be expressed as Square root of 9 is uh, 3 squared minus x plus 2 is squared and then dx. Okay, so it is now in the form a squared minus u squared. Okay, so we can use uh, uh, substitution u equals a sine theta. Okay, so our u here, our a is the 3 squared. So a squared is 9. So therefore, a, the value of a is 3. And then our u is equal to x plus 2. And then uh, solve for dx. So we have du is equal to the uh, differential of x, x plus 2 is equal to dx. So therefore it is now uh, equal to so we can use now the substitution uh, trigonometric substitution uh, u equals a sine theta. So u equals a sine theta but our u is x plus 2 x plus 2 and our a is 3. So 3 sine theta. Solving for sine theta, so this uh, sine theta is equal to uh, x plus 2 over, over 3. And then let's draw the right triangle. So let's draw the right triangle. Right triangle and this is the theta. So definition of sine theta is this, this is the theta 
opposite over hypotenuse. So this will be x plus 2 and the hypotenuse will be 3. And therefore, this side is by Pythagorean theorem. This is equal to the hypotenuse, so 3 squared. So that is equal to 9 minus this side, x plus 2, x plus 2 squared. So now what is the, we will solve the value of 9 minus x plus 2 squared. So what is the function? Uh, square root of 9 minus x plus 2 squared over the constant 3. So the function for that is cosine theta adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have cosine theta is equal to square root of 9 minus x plus 2 squared over 3. And then if we multiply uh, both sides by 3, so therefore the value of uh, 3 cosine theta is equal to square root of 9 minus x plus 2 squared. So therefore... So we have, we don't have the value of dx. So let's solve first the value of dx. So from this, x plus 2 equals 3 sine theta. So from this, uh, we have dx. Derivative of x plus 2 or differential of x plus 2 is dx. And then differential of 3 sine theta is equal to 3 cosine, cosine theta d theta. Okay, derivative of, of sine is cosine. Okay, so now we can transform this into integral of this term is a square root of 3 squared minus x plus 2 squared. So that is equal to 3 cosine theta and our dx is now equal to 3 cosine theta d theta. Okay, so simplify. So we have constant 3 and 3. So let's uh, multiply and then move the constant outside the integral symbol. We have 9 and then cosine theta times cosine theta we have cosine squared theta, d theta. And then we have powers of uh, cosine. So therefore, we use the identity 9 uh, times the integral of the identity for cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine twice the angle 2 theta over 2 d theta. So let's now uh, integrate. So distribute the 9, 2, and the d theta. So we have 9 over 2 integral of d theta plus 9 over 2 integral of cosine uh, 2 theta d theta. Okay, so for the first one, 9 over 2 d theta, so we have 9 over 2 theta plus we have a direct formula for this integral of cosine 2 theta. So the integral of cos cosine 2 theta, the, we have direct formula for this. So, integral of cosine, cosine u du, that is equal to negative sine or positive since the derivative of derivative of sine is cosine. So, this will be positive, positive sine u, sine u plus c. Okay, but we have integrating factor because our u is 2 theta and then so neutralizing factor for this is the Reciprocal of 2, so we have neutralizing factor of 1 half. Okay, so applying the direct formula for cosine u, we have sine u plus c, and we have neutralizing factor of 1 half, so therefore the answer will be 9 over 2 times the neutralizing factor 1 half, and then applying the direct formula, integral of cosine is sine. So we have times sine 2 theta d theta. So let's just simplify, so we have 9 over 2 theta plus 9 over 2 times 1 half. So that will give us 9 over 4. And then we have identity for sine 2 theta. The identity for that is 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay, so we have, we don't have, sorry for this. So this will be plus C, not D theta. Okay, plus C. Okay, so we have plus C. And then uh, let's substitute the value of theta and sine theta and cosine theta. So therefore we have 9 over 2, the value of theta is, sine theta is x plus 2 over 3. So therefore, the value of theta is uh, arc sine x plus 2 over 3. Okay, so 9 over 2, arc sine x plus 2 over 3 plus, uh, we can uh, simplify this 9 over 4 times 2. So this will be cancelled out. So we have another uh, 9 over 2. And then sine theta the value of sine theta, let's go back to this uh, triangle. So 
sin theta is x plus 2 over 3. So times x plus 2 over 3 and then cosine theta is this term. Okay, so square root of 9. So square root of 9 minus x plus 2 squared over, over 3 and then plus c. So simplify. So therefore, the final answer is 9 over 2. Arc sine x plus 2 over 3 and then plus. So this will be canceled out. The 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. So cancel the 9 in the numerator and then 2 3s in the denominator. So let's just multiply the numerator. So therefore, we have uh, x plus 2 times this term square root of 9 minus x plus 2 squared is the same uh, is the same to this so let's go back to the original so we can write that as square root of 5 minus 4x uh, minus x squared okay so square root of 5 minus 4x minus x squared all over all over 2 and then plus the constant of integration c so this will be our final answer. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this video. So for, for next video, we will answer uh, number three. And so square, integral of 2x plus 9 over x squared plus 2x plus 5 dx. So thank you for watching. And if you have a question, just comment your question in this uh, channel or in my uh, FB group or DM me in Messenger, RJ Enseñado. So bye-bye and God bless.